Professor Chinedu Peace Babalola. Uh, she is the Vice Chancellor to the University, Christland University. And uh, my first, this is my first time to, to have a female boss. I must say that I've never worked with uh, a female boss. She happens to be the first in my, my, in my life history, my career history of work. And then uh, working in university, this is my first uh, environment, my first university environment to work in academic zone. I've never worked in academic area. This Crystal University is my first, and she is the first female boss I've ever worked with. And uh, working with her, I try to see how we work. First, being a woman, reported to a woman, considering that, and I'm in a terrain, in an industry that I know nothing about. So at the start, it wasn't easy finding free to work with her because uh, there are some things that a man will see the way you should go. When you are relating with a woman, she will not see it that way. So I need to be careful of every how I work, how I relate, how I reply to some of our things. But I can say that she's uh, good. There are two things I see in her that uh, I learned from her, and it's like things that make her succeed. One, she's a perfectionist. Let me use that word. She wants whatever she, what it is that she's presenting to be done in a perfect way to everything. But even if you are, even if you say ordinary to give a gardener to trim the flowers, she will want that flower to be trimmed in a different way from what others are doing it. So, and if she wants the, the clinic to be clean, she will want that clinic to be clean in the way she wants it done. If she, we are expecting a guest and they want that guest to be received, she wants that guest to be received the particular way she wants it done. So anything you do outside the way, the things, the way she doesn't want it, it becomes a problem. So she's a perfectionist and you must want to get it like that. And because of that drive she has in her, most times she even wants to do it herself. I've seen a situation where the member of council is around and maybe the people are assigned to serve the member of council. She's not doing well. She will want to go and serve the plate, serve the food herself. So she has that way of, I want to do it Profiling in a special way. Uh, I think being a wife of a bishop, receiving people here and there in the church also will have also make that attribute in her to be that loud in her. So it makes her to have issues with people most times because we will not want to do it the way she wants it. But she wants it done in a perfect way once and for all. So I would call her perfectionist. Then the second thing she has is that uh, she has that a drive, tenacity to get something done. Uh, when we were there two years ago, when we look as if there would be no way to get put our students somewhere, suddenly the hope for VLBT came up, Beauty Life Bible uh, Church Hostel came up, and there was a drive. Let's buy foam, let's buy mattress, let's buy bed there. So it was a push. So those two things, those two attributes, one, wanting to get in it right, that is perfectionist, and also a push to get something done. Those are the two things that stand out, and I give her a clap for that. My experience with the VC, it wasn't really easy because we were coming from finance, and a person that is not finance will not get some of the things that finance. You will look at budgets, you look at things that are holding you back, and uh, people that are not finance will not see that way. Uh, so most times when we have issues, we had issues in terms of working together. There are things she may not want, she may want, but I'm constrained on the other end that if I go beyond this, I will have problem also. So those are the things that actually give us a kind of uh, uh, misunderstanding in the course of our work. But we are trying to get each other now. Now that we are really understanding ourselves that she is living and very unfortunate that she's living at a time that we are understanding her better now. She's understanding me better now. That's those two things in her. She wants to get results. And that perfectionist, I not see that she's that kind of person. And she's also understanding me now. But if we are to part ways now, we have to take it that way. That is how God wants it. But I believe that she understands me now, not 100%. And I understand her to an extent now. So we should, if we are to continue a working relationship, I think we have a very, very robust working relationship going forward. 
she's let me give it to her so that she's good. I'll keep hammering okay. those two leadership style because once you push that drive to get result, it pays. Uh, finance knowledge may not be there, but but in terms of pushing to get work something done is there and be a perfectionist, want to get it right, is also there. Of course, you are a good leader. You are a good leader. I remember there were times that uh, some lecturers would say, look, those that already have PhD should not be given. He was trying to see how he can maybe put them to a certain level, not be recognized that much. And it was, uh, it's a good idea. He still bought that, that perfectionist that he was looking for. I want the lecturers to be at a certain level. I want to be perfect in whatever, in terms of the lecturers, in terms of the student, in terms of whatever I give outside from the university should be 100%. It was that also that attribute in her that brought that issue that those that have PhD to do go certain level. And it was a help because if you really see some of them now, most of all of them, as the record she was saying last time in the meeting, that almost all of them now, they are all PhD holders now. So it helps. Is a drive that brings uh, your, your inner best out. I give it to her. Leadership, it has helped us as a leaders because it, the kinds of pushing and uh, making sure we get it right is a plus. All the accreditations we have, you make it and get it 100% at, at once, at first attempt, because of that getting it right. For instance, we are expecting NHIS tomorrow now in the clinic. And she said that place should be painted, the tiles should be fixed, this one should be done. And uh, one thing that they say, okay, we should do now is that there should be banner over. I consider it a banner for these people that come in. Do we need to go that far? Uh, to me, is fine from finance angle, I've seen another money we're going to spend for banner, all this, but it puts you above the standard. So when you go above the standard, so whatever the person that is coming will raise the standard, who is scared to will move to. So it's actually help the leadership and the progress of the place. The challenge is why we talk of challenge we have is just the space problem. I would keep saying that the space is a challenge. Uh, I'm not going to look at it from my opic way, my not way of saying that uh, maybe misunderstanding with this or this or what's possible. But the main challenge, the constraint she has, that she actually makes you have get more results, make more exploit, and do more, give more the university more growth. But the challenge where she's actually limited is the space to host her. And uh, give it or take it, the bursary actually help. When I came in, I have to see how will assist for us to have a result. And all this result, I will claim you that you can't wave the budget aside because push for the money and go this way, we get it. Boss, I release money here and we get all these things done. When there was no water, we have to buy water every day, making the funds available and defending it before those that have the money and everything. So the budget, the budget also play a, a, a heavy role, a great role for their success. But I want to give it to her that the drives actually came from her and it's a kudos, it's a plus to her. I wish her well, seriously, I wish her well. And I want to believe that when she take up uh, another assignment, uh, like I usually tell people that she's a man of many parts. She's a person of many parts. She combined many things. And when you combine many things, really, it will help you not to get 100% in all. Because you will touch her, touch her, touch her. Recent, recently, she has a lot of things always on the road. Abuja, uh, Lagos, Isayin, going here and there, Ibado, Ife. So when you combine all that, it's having should have a, a kind of weight on her. But I see that as she's going out, at least pushing her Christland University, to maybe try to reduce what she has in her hand, it will make her to excel in other parts. And if, uh, if there's anything that she needs to maybe uh, look into or check, is uh, uh, pay, give a listening ear to whatever you hear, but you don't apply it immediately. You could just hear what people say, but don't bring it to judgment. You just keep it and still study the people, the person, the people, not taking it to conclude that this is the direction to go. 
I see her wish her well, and I'm sure she's going to do well in the future. Because every day we learn every day. She must have learned one or two things. I have learned one or two things working with her. And uh, those things will also come to play as she moves on. And whatever I've learned there, when I move on, definitely it will come to play.